Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this Milwaukee 9 amp hour high demand battery and it's got a problem. Milwaukee 9 amp hour M18 high demand battery has got an issue. And this is it here look. It tells you what? The train's coming? I don't know. But it's not right anyway. Because if you put it on the tilt Lights are on but nobody's home. If you put it onto a charger, you get a light but it's flashing. And that's not the proper charging light, that's not the right thing at all. You get a solid light when they're charging properly. Get her open, you just to get the TTN screws in the bottom. We've got to see what's going on with the voltage, and we've got to see what's going on with the cells. Then we can make a decision what we're going to do. Right, lovely, anyway, so putting the meter on, the overall voltage of that battery is 19.5 volts, which is, well, should be good, but it's not in this case. The thing I also forgot to mention there was, um, always make sure the connections at the top of the battery look right. That's a narrower bit of strap there, and that acts like a fuse. Should there be an overheat in the battery, it burns out before it overloads the cells, you know. Testing all the banks of cells all the way along. Um, I could take this out, but I'm not. They're all testing around the same. Well, how do we go at them before I turned on the camera there? Um, they're all on around 3.8 lines, so all the way along. It's a fairly balanced pack, so it's not cell balance is the problem with this one. To me... It just looks like a board failure. In that case, what I can do is stick on one of these little aftermarket boards. Not really aftermarket, I suppose they're knockoff. Because Milwaukee will not be supplying you with spare boards to fix their batteries. That just doesn't happen. Now we've got to take the old board off before we do anything. It has to go. There's two E um sorry T eight screws on the top of this. So that's your first thing to get them two screws. And we're gonna break all the connections. Just a couple little spot welds in these just to hold them on. So that's that's the plus and minus of them. You're just breaking the, the cell balance connectors now. I could desolder or I could just cut them off. I'll just see what I can do.
That's lovely. That came off rather nicely. I'll see if me making new connections. I can just put the board straight on. That's the connections re-soldered, the four connections on top of the board. They just have to uh, solder in the plus and the minus. So I'll do that and it should be in business. Yeah, it should be good. Nice. The signs are good so far. Just popping the lid on now. You see, I can get it to do the, the business. we're going now we'll try it on the, the charge to see if we've any fault or any problem nope charging like you would love it to that's that's perfect so let that charge a little while and i'll test it in the tool time has passed now and we have what we're looking for all along a nice green light and four bars on the on the battery so that's awesome Next test is, will it drive a tool? Even more awesomer. So let's test the voltage to see what our fully charged battery is coming out at. We're looking for a voltage, ideally in excess, slightly in excess of 20 volts. If we're going to have the right result, so you know, 20. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's pretty good. That charges to 20 volts every time. We are in business. So that's a successful fix. That 9 amp battery is restored to its former glory. That should keep them going for a good while. The cells are all pretty good. So if you like this video or found it entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. 